Hey, welcome back to The Pass is Alive. Thank you for tuning in. Tonight we are back with the weekend recap. And as you can see, I got a good bit of baseball cards over the last couple days. Went to several different antique malls and also flea markets. Didn't find any action figures, unfortunately, but I did find a bunch of baseball cards. So we have a stack of rookie cards that I added to my PC. We're going to go over those. We're also going to rip some modern stuff and also, of course, check out the vintage pickups for the weekend. So that is all tonight on the weekend recap. Stay tuned. Save the stack of singles for later on. We're going to go over the older boxes I picked up. Today I was out in Youngstown, Ohio. Went to a couple of flea markets and antique malls. Didn't find a ton of stuff, but I did find some pretty cool things. I think it's interesting how I've really never come across sport flicks boxes until recently. And all of a sudden they just start being abundant. But this is a pickup from the flea market. Um, a hobby box of 94 sport flicks. Not really a great set. Alex Rodriguez rookie card ended up being in the rookie traded set from that year. But there are some pretty nice insert cards we can find in there. Eight cards per pack. Sport flicks 2000. We will check that out at some point in the future. I used to like those a lot back in 94. I feel like I used to buy a decent amount of them. And on the theme of 94, we got some 94 Stadium Club. These are 10 bucks a box. I couldn't turn them down. Series 3 is right there. And also Series 2. And once again, I was buying a bunch of these in 94 too. I really like the design. I was a big Stadium Club fan in their first few years they were released. So for 10 bucks a box, I will not turn those down ever. And moving right along here, something I was super stoked about. This was an indoor flea market in Ohio. And I'm sure some of you guys that have been on the channel for a while have heard me talk about this set before. My jaw dropped when I came across these. Of course, the Junk Wax era set. 92 score rookie, rookie traded, but for me, this was a set that I was like looking for for quite a while. And I have never, ever seen this in the wild. Ever. And I was trying to hunt down the Jeff Kent and Tim Wakefield rookie cards that are in here. And... Um, couldn't do it. And you can find them online, but that's not really my style. I'd like to find stuff out in the wild. But Wakefield and Jeff Kent being the two best rookie cards in this set. 110 card set. So I saw these. They were three bucks a pop. I'm like, I gotta buy both of them. And another one I'll give away or something at some point. But keep one sealed for myself. Maybe I'll crack one or give it away. But I thought that was pretty cool though, because I never ever come across those. So that was a pickup from today. And we also have some modern stuff to open. I was going around to Walmarts and Targets too trying to find chrome to rip for myself and the shelves are barren it's crazy but somebody left behind this box of absolute at Walmart I don't know why but one random blaster was sitting on the shelf along with 2019 opening day so very um random boxes left behind so I grabbed both of them it was like 25 bucks and we'll rip those later but first let's check out these rookie cards that I picked up um, most of these, actually, I think all of them were from yesterday, but Garrett Cole, 2013 Topps Chrome Rookie Card. This is one that I wanted his regular base rookie for a while, and I still haven't come across it, but I found his Chrome yesterday. I think this was like six bucks or something like that, which is, um, you know, I mean, you won't find it for cheaper than that on eBay, at least I don't think so. But Garrett Cole, actually, this is his regular 2013 Topps Rookie Card, not the update, but very, very cool. And his old Buckos uniform, and then... Pretty hot one right now. Mookie Betts. I picked up his 2014 update rookie card last weekend. Well, now I found his first Bowman card. I think that was like six bucks or something. So couldn't pass that one up. Mookie Betts' stuff is on fire right now. Another one I didn't have in my PC. Chris Sale and his 2011 Topps rookie card. And definitely one that I've had on my radar for a while. That was a few bucks too. Had to add that to the rookie card PC. And I added a decent amount of 2011 update cards in my collection this weekend. DJ LeMayhew, rookie card from 2011 update. Pretty hot set, obviously. This set houses a Mike Trout, uh, legendary rookie card. But LeMayhew didn't have that one. I think that was like 8 bucks or something. And then here's another one. Anthony Rizzo, 
I'm not sure what I paid for this, five or six bucks, something like that. Um, but Anthony Rizzo, 2011 Tops Update Rookie. Didn't have this one. Had to pick it up for my rookie card collection, which hopefully you'll be seeing again here pretty soon. The update version. Here's another one I've had my on for a while. Miggy Cabrera. I never come across this card, but his 2001 Bowman rookie card. Just pretty stoked to find that one for like five or six bucks. The guy knocked a few bucks off each one of these, so. But I thought that was a pretty decent deal. Miggy Cabrera. And then... Mookie Betts, this card's decently hot right now, too. His 2014 update rookie debut card. Not creating quite the buzz. The same buzz as his regular base or flagship update card. But uh, rookie debut, that was a few bucks. Had to pick that one up. And I was stoked to come across this one, too. 2015, I think this is update. Yeah, 2015 update. Noah Syndergaard for a few bucks. Didn't have that one either in the rookie PC. Now I do, so pretty excited about that. And... Blackman 2011 update. I have this card, but I figure why not buy another one, especially with how good he's doing this season. Figure it could not hurt to pick up another one of his rookies for a few bucks. So 2011 update Blackman. And then those were some of the ones from yesterday. From today, an indoor flea market in Ohio. Puig, his 2013 Tops update rookie card. Didn't have this one, so I had to get that one. I'm trying to cross all these more modern rookie cards off my list. And I'm doing pretty well. I'm getting caught off. Buster Posey, more than likely future Hall of Famer, 2010 Topps rookie card. I couldn't remember if I had this one or not. I didn't think I did. So I picked it up anyways for, I don't know, I think it was like five bucks, which is a pretty good deal. And one I don't really come across too often. I had to pick this one. Joe Maurer, his 2002 Bowman rookie card. Another cool one that I've had on my rookie list for a while and just never see it. Grab that for a few bucks, and also this Roy Halladay, 97 Bowman's Best. I really like this set and this design. Maybe one day we'll rip a box of these. I think this was like five bucks. Hall of Famer Roy Halladay. Rest in peace to him. Couldn't pass on that one for the rookie PC. I didn't think I had it already, so I had to buy it. And here's one I've wanted for a while. The 2007 short print of Derek Jeter with Mickey Mantle in the dugout and George W. Bush in the in, uh, bleachers there. Pretty crazy uh, short print photo variation card, but that was a few bucks, so I had to get that just for the hell of it. And then Roberto Clemente, 1966 Tops. I was pretty stoked to find this. This is like 25 bucks. I'll buy his cards if I see him for a good price. But Roberto Clemente, 66. This one's not too bad. The corner is a little dog eared a little bit there, but uh, not enough to make me uh, think twice about buying it. So. Roberto Clemente, and this was a great pickup, I think, from today. Jim Tomei, PSA 10, 91 Upper Deck Final Edition. This was 10 bucks. I was like, wow, you got a deal, man. That's a great price. These are about 40 or 50 on in uh, sold listings on eBay, so I had to grab that, again, for my rookie card PC. Can't pass on the Gem Mint 10s if I see them, especially for 10 bucks. Great deal. Jim Tomei, and let's go ahead and rip into some modern stuff here. Oh, you know what else I picked up? Some more quote-unquote junk wax, but I found this yesterday in the Antique Mall. It's a factory sealed 92 top set. Three bucks. I was like, I can't walk away from that for three bucks. So I scooped that, and let's check out these. These are from Walmart today. Like I said, all the shelves were barren, but for whatever reason, people left these two behind. 2019 opening day, not really all that desired. A couple rookies in here like Loriano, Jeff McNeil, Kopech, Kyle Tucker could be found in here, but I think I have all those rookies, but um, geez, I have all of them, but uh, maybe we'll find a nice autograph in here or something. I don't know, something good in here. Brand Mill Reyes is definitely Having a pretty great season so far. This rookie card, I think, is actually in 2018 update. Will Smith, Ozzy Albies. I won't know if there's any short prints in here or not. I have to go back and look through all the numbers. Pujols, his cards are on fire right now. Carlos Correa, Severino. Jake Arrieta, Fulton Awich, Xander Bogarts. Yachty. Lindor, trying to find his rookie card. Can't, don't come across that ever. Christian Stewart's rookie card variation here. I forget what these were even called. They're not numbered, but cool looking card regardless. That's a cool one. Tony Gwynn, never seen that one before. 
Ozzy Smith, Gehrig, Wally the Green Monster, Ryan O'Hearn, rookie card, Shoyo Tani, second year. I actually saw his Chrome PSA 10 today, but he gets hurt entirely too much to uh, for me to want to buy his card. They're Justice Sheffield, Kerr Bauer, Merrifield, Robbie Cano, Barrios, and it looks like we got Michael Kopech, rookie. Which, uh, I think his card's kind of all declined in value because he's not even playing this year. Juan Soto, Gold Cup is nice. Chris Archer, Buster Posey, picked up his rookie. Max Muncy, and there's Fran Mil Reyes. So, not too bad. Fun to open those. Five bucks. Can't pass it up. Especially something that is from a year old. I don't come across those very often these days. Box of Absolute. One auto or memorabilia card. We have five cards per pack and only two packs per box. Haven't opened these yet. I know they're pretty hot. People are flipping them for like 40 bucks online. Kind of regretting that I got back into buying newer cards because I keep going to all these stores trying to find packs to open to find rookies and stuff, and I can't find them because of all the people flipping them. It really drives me nuts. All right, two packs. Absolute from Panini 2020. Let's see what we can find in here. Actually, this one is probably going to house our relic cards, what it feels like, but the weight of it. So let's check these out. Five cards per pack. I have not seen these yet. We have a Cunha on the back. That's definitely a nice sign. Roberto Clemente. These are nice looking. Kind of remind me of like Sweet Spot from like the early 2000s. Clemente, Trey Mancini, and DiMaggio. I don't know what these are, if these are parallels or what. But uh, Joe DiMaggio, I'm guessing that's his regular base card. Very stylish looking though. Eloy Jimenez, Introductions. That's a cool looking card. And Absolute Heroes, Acuna. So definitely a nice pack starting off there. And uh, takes us to our final pack of the night. I don't think I have anything else to show you. I think I've exhausted all my stuff. Let's see what we have in here. Hopefully they don't give away. Yeah, it's a relic card. I'll say that for last if I can hide it. Another Clemente, Absolute Legends. Definitely nice looking cards. I'm guessing that's probably an insert card. Flashy. Um, Blake Snell and Charlie Morton. I'm not a fan of Blake Snell at all. Don't care for him. Ozzy Albies. Another Jimenez. Seems he's pretty ab abundant in this set. Albies, and what do we have here? It's a rookie card. Wow, that is pretty awesome. Bo Bichette. Rookie Threads. Very, very nice. Nice name. Not really sure who else you can possibly pull out of here, but I think that's a pretty nice way to end the video. I think I would rather, much rather have an autograph, but um, I'm not going to complain. Bo Bichette. Rookie Threads. If you can find Absolute Panini, definitely pick them up. They're 20 bucks a blaster, and it seems like they just keep going up. But there's definitely some nice stuff you can find in there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down below what your favorite thing was that I picked up. And I will see you all again on Tuesday for Turn Back the Clock Tuesday, 96 Finest Series 2. Just looking for refractors. So hope to talk to you guys soon. Enjoy what's left of your weekend. I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching.